there. And uh, this is basically what it consists of. And uh, then we do have the special glazed glass for going over it. together. And so we have our in chamber goes in and around and around and it comes out this side. And uh, this is just regular corrugated uh, metal painted black. And so we'll see what we can do with it. Right, so we have two different types of um, material we're going to try today and see if there's any temperature difference. Um, this is a special glazing material called sunlight glazing, and it's a fiberglass glazed uh, material that's a little bit more opaque than just clear plexiglass. Uh, it's shatter resistant, and uh, it's commonly used in solar heat panels. Uh, just, for, just for the sake of trying it, we're gonna test it and see if this has any more output than this. Um, it's negative one degrees outside and it's a sunny day. Uh, so we're gonna put these together here and we'll try one with this glazing and we'll try it with the clear and uh, see if we get any difference. This stuff's a serious pain in the butt. Now before we can mount and seal the metal to the frame, we need to install this little guy on the back side of the metal. This is a sensor that is going to basically make a connection between the uh, power source, the solar panel, and the blower motor. Um, and it will only make that connection when the temperature of this reaches 120 degrees. Once it drops down below 90, it also disconnects. So basically it's a little thermostat. And what we want to use to seal up our enclosure is RTB 550 to 600 degree clear silicone gas maker. And we'll rock and roll. cocked up. Okay, last thing you do is score a little silicone in the hole for the wire. Take your time here. If you want it to drop in, just right. So feed your wire. Have this cut out of the edges. Now, there's marks at either end um, of the wood here showing where the uh, beams are underneath here. But you can actually use the old sounding technique like we do for finding studs on roofs. And you know where they're at. Just to give you an idea how cold it is, let's see if we can see this. Negative one. Nice. And even without the uh, cover on it, in one degree temperature, we can take a reading here. 
and the surface is at 102 without a cover on it and it is cold out. And that's it. Alright, so uh, it's, uh, let's see, 1 o'clock. So we'll give each one, uh, for a test purpose, we will uh, give it 15 minutes in the sun and then take a reading. And then we'll put on the clear plexi and let it sit for 15 minutes and take a reading. So that'll hook up the uh, solar panel and the blower um, while we're waiting. All right, I've set up the uh, thermometer right there. I'll turn that on in a minute. And, and just for test purposes, I'm using a, a, a different 12 volt blower motor than what we install inside of them. Uh, I just hooked it up on the outside right there and uh, I'll put the solar panel there into the sun when we're ready to blow some air. So that's how it'll work. Alright, it is now 115. So let's go ahead and hook it up and see what kind of heat we can put out. So it looks like about 104, 103. surface temperature is uh, 67 and, degrees. Uh, the longer it sits um, without even the blower motor on, uh, the temperature climbs. Um, not a whole lot though. It's at 109 right now and it's uh, uh, 120 p.m. Alright, so we'll take this cover off. And of course you're going to want to pre-drill these as well, otherwise it will shatter the glass. Okay, and there's with the clear cover on. And if you caught that in the last little frame, even after all the years of doing this and working with Plexi, if you wrong, grab the wrong drill bit, guess what you're gonna do? That's right. Break it. Oh well, it's just a $72 piece of glass. No big deal. Let's go play with it. All right, so it is two o'clock. Uh, it's still one degree outside, and uh, I've angled it a little bit more to the south. It's still not facing dead south, but uh, close enough. Uh, so it's still a fair comparison. Uh, it's just an hour later. So we'll let it sit for 15 minutes, and we'll see what we got. All right, so here we are. It's uh, 2.15. And let's see what we're at here. Yeah, I added a little background sign there. <laughs> so, got up to about 146. Uh, 147. Uh, we'll let it sit for five minutes and see what it does. Okay, and the final verdict after it's been about seven minutes. Um, the blower motor is not on and uh, it's beeping because it hit 160 which is three degrees over the set temperature I have of 157. So it is negative one degree out. It is 2.20 p.m. Uh, on a brisk Colorado morning and uh, or morning afternoon and uh, yeah so it's hitting 160 degrees. If we turn on the blower motor, it'll drop down a little bit, um, just because it's pulling in negative one degree air. Kind of a demonstration of what kind of power these motors can blow. I got some uh, plastic on there. Put a little battery here. 